So Melanie, you were on your way to what seemed at the time to be a routine hair appointment at a braiding salon. Right. Your husband drops you off, you have your appointment, he picks you up, you get back in the car, and you say to him, this is what I wanna do for a career. Yes. And that catches him completely out of left field. He has no idea what it is you're talking about. At this point, he thinks you might be losing your mind. Right. <laughs> Tell me what's going on. What did you experience and observe in that salon that had such an impact on your career choice? I had such a burst of um, energy and I felt I was feeling something that I had never, ever felt before. And it was just like a light bulb had came on and the whole room just brightened up. And really, I would have to say prior to then, I had been searching for something. It was like, I know that there's something that I'm supposed to be doing with my life. I just don't know what it is. And at that moment, it was just like, I knew, I just knew this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be a professional. And I always use that word professional, um, a professional hair braider. And I knew that uh, with every fiber in my being. When you're sitting in the chair and you're getting your hair done, what, what was that experience like for you? Um, well, it was painful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a little uncomfortable. Um, my, my chair was turned away from the mirror, so I wasn't able to see anything. I could um, tell that the braider was moving very swiftly. Um, she was very accurate. She knew exactly what she was doing. Um, I could tell that she had uh, very high skills. And uh, I was just very, you know, uh, anxious to see what this, you know, hairstyle was going to look like after she was done. So I was, I was anxious uh, to see how it was all going to, all going to come together. And, 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 and there was, there was a moment you had in there where, because I, I think you said it, like you expected it to be much longer than it was, oh, right? Yeah. yeah. And she was done in like 15 minutes. 50. 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Yes. And, and, and you put the math together when you oh, yeah. counted the number of clients in the salon. And, and, and that made you say, wait a minute, she, she's on to something I need to tap into. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, um, so exactly 50 minutes. Uh, she says, I'm done. She turns my chair to the mirror. I look in the mirror and I'm thinking, wow, you did all of this in 50 minutes. And then I got to thinking, I'm not the only one here. There are at least five other people here. I don't know what they're getting, but if they're getting what I'm getting, and it, you, you, know, you do it in exact, the exact amount of time that she did me, if she did them in the exact amount of time that she did my hair, and they paid $75, that was a pretty good um, income. I hope whoever did your hair gets a chance to see this episode and hear about your story because I think it's a great example of how just showing up and doing what you do best with integrity can have a profound impact on people's lives in ways that we can't even imagine. You know, so many times we show up to work, maybe we don't feel like being there, maybe we don't have a lot of energy that day, and just by saying, I'm gonna treat this client, this person in front of me, as if it's my only business today, and yes. I'm gonna do right by them, that that can have an impact by making that person walk out of there saying, I know what I was born to do now. You know? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, so you, you get back in the car and you tell your husband this. He thinks you've lost your mind. Tell me about that conversation. So, you know, my mind is just racing yeah. and I'm, I'm just, it's just flooded with thoughts and I'm thinking, oh, wow, you know. And so finally, I, you know, I just uh, express all of these thoughts that are going through my mind and I say, I know what I want to do. I want to be a professional hair braider. And as they say, you could have heard a pin drop. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I'm thinking, did you hear what I said? I said, I want to be a professional hair braider. And I'm not getting any response whatsoever. But it didn't matter because I knew that that's what I wanted to do. Now, to give a little context for why you heard the pin drop, at this time, you had a pretty respectable career. And, and there was nothing about what you were doing that would give anybody a reason to predict that. You were the assistant director at a boy's home. Yes. Tell, tell me a little bit about the work you were doing at that time. So I was an assistant director at a boy's home um, and we took in like boys that were um, disadvantaged, um, at risk. And uh, I did, some of my duties I did was um, get them registered for school. I did the intake. 
I took them to doctor visits. I even grocery shop for the store, for the home. I did everything except for cook and clean. Um, but it was a pretty, you know, pretty laid back job. I really enjoyed it. I, I felt it was meaningful, um, but it just wasn't, you know, it just didn't give me that feeling of just complete satisfaction. So when you have this moment, how, how do you take the leap from, I think I wanna do this thing that I don't know anything about to the position you're in now? Walk me through that journey. So we were at the, at the time at the boys' home, our funding was a little sketchy. We were um, facing losing one of our biggest donors. And so I went into work every day with that in mind, like this could be the last day, the doors could be you know, closed um, um, at any time. And uh, so during this process, that's exactly what happened. Our biggest funding source pulled their funding and from one day to the next, I didn't have a job anymore. So at this time, it made this whole professional braiding idea a lot easier to wrap my mind around. 